incorruptible. Incredible. Oh, there's lamb on the end. We did a huge indigestible, indivisible, inedible, infallible, inexpressible. A lot of these titles describe God, like he's inexhaustible. He's inexpressible. He's um, indestructible. He's incorruptible. He's incredible. Well, clearly we see lamb on the end of all these words. He's irreversible. He's irresistible. Like, we know what it means to get the last word, and how satisfying that is. To get the last word, well, Ibel, lamb, 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 lamb. Who's taking the glory for all this? Clearly the lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. When you read the book of Revelation, you're reminded of just how much Jesus gets. Like, you, you think certain people are getting things down here and are like being like the kings and the queens and they're like celebrities. I'm like, no, when judgment day cometh, Jesus is taking all the chips. Jesus is taking everything that everyone ever thought they had. Like, I'm sorry, Jesus takes it all. Jesus takes every crown. Jesus takes every trophy. Jesus takes every word, every accolade, every everything. It all belongs to God. But you read the book of Revelation, it's like, worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and ori and, and everything there is. Like, Jesus takes all. And that's why people fear Jesus. And that's why many godless people hate Jesus more than anything, because Jesus is the best. They know they cannot compete with Jesus. If you can't beat someone, you're either a rebel against them that's going to die, or you better join them. Like, you better work for this guy, because he's the best, and he can crush you if he wants to. The mandible, that's a body part. Amazingly... That starts with lamb, okay. Life, lamb. Life. Life plus lamb equals holy. I mean, just word. Mandible. Mandible, the lamb. Negligible, non combustible, non convertible. Um, all these, there are many of these words that describe uh, God, non visible and invisible. Um, Permissible, possible. Irresistible is a famous one. And there you go, the, the great and terrible, awesome God. And the very last word in English that ends in Ibel is the word visible. Okay. Which again is vine, I am, or vine, lamb. Two, two of the, you know, most interesting metaphors of Jesus, side by side, in the word visible. Vine, lamb, like Jesus took a, a word from the plant kingdom, he said, I am the vine. And then from the animal kingdom, he says, I am the lamb. Okay. And then he comes back as the lion, the king. Amazing, isn't it? So, I'm in love with the letters Ibel. Ibel, Ibel, Ibel. Um, you know, because that, that declares lamb. <clears throat> so if I do an amogram, an anagram, <clears throat> there's only one four-letter word that, um, and that's the word bile. And we know that's a part of your body's health system. So bile. Um, a bitter greenish brown that, that aids digestion secreted by the liver and stored in the gallbladder. It's all part of God's creation plan. Okay. All right. So the invisible God. Um, you know, and when you say words like all powerful, ooh, man, once we get to those big words, we can really unlock them with our new artillery. But all-powerful just puts the word power at the dead center, which we saw before. How about something like omnipotent? Now with our extra artillery, we can just take a look at all this. Holy word in the center. 31. 79. I am, the I am. 
Ooh, there's the father-son combo again. At the center of omnipotent. Oh, just hit me like a truck. And there's son, S-O-N, with the E-N-O-N, -N, and the rest equals father. The father-son combo and omnipotent. Um, so, um, <clears throat> the names of God are everywhere, and the attributes of God are everywhere. Um, how about omniscient? Let's just quickly take a stab at that. I mean, the word omni equals great. Okay. Um, equals I am lamb. Again, that was the exact same thing we saw earlier. Um, oh yeah, flanking invisible. Okay. Um, omniscient. Okay, so that equals 121. It takes patience to do this work, but it's worth it, because these are the greatest words in the universe, and God's not going to change them. They're not going to change. You need to know them, and you need to know the God behind them. Amazing. Okay, omniscient equals firstborn. This is huge. Okay, because Jesus is the firstborn of all creation, the firstborn from the dead. That also equals almighty God. It also equals the holiest. Okay, there's, there's glaring correspondence between all these letters, mathematically. Um, it's hard to know which, where to start with. I mean, if I was to pick off the word first from omniscience, I get the S, the T, the I, and then I need 24 points. Take the S, or take um, another I-O. Very easy to split omniscient into firstborn. But if I start by studying the letters omniscient and hack my way from the inside out, 22... Let's, there's a lot to see. There's so much to talk about, but um, okay, let's keep going. Omniscient, all powerful, all known. Um, um, there's that 59 again. <laughs> It's like a matching game. You're putting the puzzle together. Oh, I remember seeing that puzzle piece. Oh, where does it go? Oh, it fits right in here. Perfect. Oh, look, here, add this one. Oh, there, that's why that's spelled that way. Oh, okay. You just keep putting the puzzle together. It's, that's all that's happening. Um, all right. Cool. The names of God are on display. In every English word you've ever seen or heard. Um, Joe Diva.